Hey, what we're doing today, we've got these uh, crimp fittings, battery lugs, battery terminal lens. Uh, what we're going to do is make a, uh, a crimper device to squeeze it. Uh, we can buy these online, but I don't have one at the moment and I don't want to wait a week for it to get here, so we're going to make one quick on the machine. We've got a drawing set up. Set up the machine here. Okay, I'm on a wire at the moment because the battery's gone dead. So I'm on a. Uh, ah, hell. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so we're going to set the uh, set the machine up. Uh, uh, Z minus. Make it five inches, good enough. Here we're going to set the Z axis. thousands high and yeah, we're going to find a corner somewhere around there go down the corner. there we go that looks about right okay so now we're at the corner of the material we're going to start our charge pump which is that one to give us some charge on the actual pump. Okay, now we're going to do the actual cutting. Oh geez, 16 minutes. Okay, let's zero. Zero our start. Okay, and oh, okay, so let's check to make sure. Just check to make sure we're not off the edges. So we're gonna go to spot on path, uh, somewhere around there. And just check to make sure we're not off the edge of the material. That looks pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> Close up on the screen a little better. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's too blurry or not. I don't know. Okay, cutting is finished now. We're going to put it together and we'll see how well we did. Okay, so uh, uh, I set this up such that it can be uh, welded 
uh, but it's very very quite rigid as it is um, but the plan was uh, I'll, I'll put a couple of tacks on either side to hold um, hold it all together so there's our crimp put it that way so you can see better so uh, the inside is the, uh, the inside is the, is the correct diameter for the for the crimp and this part uh, on, on this piece and this piece uh, was intended to be larger to allow clearance but you see how it goes in uh, I didn't quite leave enough clearance there so I'm going to modify the drawing to make this a little bit larger on this piece and this piece only the middle part can stay the same but I see I messed up that and it make it quite wide enough and then this piece goes in the middle sliding into the slot sliding into the slot there we go push that over and then put that into the shop press press down and this little piece here should crimp it quite nicely well, that should be okay and um, wish I hadn't uh, made that quite so small though I should uh, make that a little bit larger oh also um, I'm seeing that this area here is very small uh, we got our pointer here so there's a nail this little area right here that's also very small here, yeah. Um, if I was to do it again, I would make that another, at least another quarter inch higher to get a little bit more material there. However, when this is welded in, well, if I weld it in place, um, if I put a small tack here and tack here, um, that will stop it from collapsing in or out due to the weakness here at this point. So I guess it really doesn't matter. But if I was to do it again, I would make this mouth here a little larger. One side only is good enough. And I would uh, make that clearance a little higher there. Yeah, the rest of it looks pretty good though. Ah. There we go. And that piece goes in the middle. Okay, so when it's crimped all the way, you see how much is left? Hmm, I wonder if that's far enough, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose it'll be enough. So, we'll try it in the uh, shop press and see how it works. Okay, we'll see how this works. And it to be that way. Alright. Okay, so obviously I need to uh, make the tops a little bit wider. But as far as the crimp goes, the crimp's not too bad at all. Okay, I'll say that's a success. <laughs> 